So right now what we're going to do, we're going to uh, do, a little, do a little psychiatric first aid. A little psychiatric first aid. So I'm going to ask Emily and I'm going to ask Maura to blow this balloon up. And oftentimes when we're not participating in these type of, of practices to relieve and deal with stress and anxiety, these they can blow up and become pressure, pressure, more pressure, more pressure, and more pressure. Do you ever feel like you're you're ready to pop? Do you ever feel like you're ready to be a balloon? And I'm going to ask I'm going to ask Miss Emily to uh, to what happens when somebody reaches the reaches the breaking point. There we go. Did you ever blow? Did you ever did, did ever someone ever say to you, I feel like I'm ready to blow? I feel like I'm ready to blow. Well, uh, perhaps with a little bit of psychological first aid, perhaps with some exercise, with some mindfulness practices, with surrounding yourself with friendships, disconnecting yourself from technology, uh, building on building on small successes, um, being being getting in touch with yourself, uh, not participating in the drama around you. Uh, so what I'm going to do is ask Miss Mora to place to place these type of these type of tools and these type of skills. Which we're going to uh, use as tape over over the, the balloon. If you make a few uh, few crosses over that, that'd be super. So what we want to do, we want to provide ourselves with the skills. The uh, the drama in life is going to keep on coming. The speed bumps, the potholes, the uh, dead ends, the wrong turns are still are going to keep on happening. How are we going to be able to deal with them? So. Rather, and here at Seclair also what we do is not only assist people in skills, but unlearning some old thought patterns and behaviors that perhaps didn't work out so well. A lot of them in the past certainly did. So what I'm going to do is ask Ms. Moore to insert that pin, and hopefully something not else doesn't happen. And it did. So however, then that, that means that those skills were not applied properly. And perhaps, perhaps those skills were not honed. Uh, to the degree that, 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 that they need to be. So uh, perhaps uh, at the next time, what we'll do, we'll have Miss Mora practice these skills <laughs> and incorporate those in her life, and perhaps next time that balloon will not blow up. Uh, so we're glad that you, uh, we're certainly glad that you joined us today. Uh, every Monday we come out on a, a broadcast in Seclair. Please feel free to, uh, to visit us. We're still on, and this is, the, this is the wonderful and the miracle and the joy of being, uh, being alive. So what we're going to do now, we're going to ask both uh, Miss Mora and Miss Emily, and they've sharpened their skills considerably since, since we last uh, did this exercise. So we're going to take uh, some skills, and we're going to use some extra skills. We're going to really use the ones that we've developed and work very hard on. And Where's the beginning? That's great. I'll rip some off for you. Can you explain what you're doing for the people on audio? The sure. For for the individuals out there, what we've done is blown up a balloon. However, uh, when you've reached that breaking point, when you've reached that point ready to pop, uh, what we what we do those uh, those particular skills, those particular suggestions that we've mentioned earlier, uh, what we do is we we use those skills on our lives. We use them as a buffer. We have a we have a tool belt, and we use those skills. And what we what we do is we learn to respond rather than react to situations. We identify and we label overwhelming emotions without reacting to them, which is, which is part of mindfulness. And some of these uh, anxiety and distress skills involve, involve self-soothing, involve some self-soothing skills. So what we're doing is we're soothing ourselves, we're, we're still ready and we're still tense, and we'll just see what happens. Uh, Life's, life's a challenge and life's an adventure, so we'll, we'll see what happens now when these pins are inserted into uh, the balloons where we have ourselves covered with the skills. And I'm ready for anything. Oh. And that would be up. However, Miss Emily's did not. So, uh, so today you've learned that uh, we need to practice our skills and we have to continue to practice them. So.